I put it over here. Did I put it in the wrong place? But there's no yellow under here. So I messed oh. it up. I messed it up already. Well, they had Lego back in that <laughs> in the day. Did your dad ever play a Lego? Did you ever see him build a Lego? No, I never saw him build a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. And today I thought I'd bring along a really special guest, a longtime family friend who we grew up together. And look, it's our first female guest. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Shannon Lee. Hi, everyone. Yay, Yay, cool, finally. Well, I'm excited to be here. I have known Scotty his whole life. I'm yeah. just a little bit older than him. <laughs> you used to babysit me. I did, I used to babysit him and his brother, and um, I would chase them around all the time. They always wanted to play, 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 play. Gosh, I have known Scotty's family since I was two years old. So my dad knew Scotty's dad way back in the day, back at Golden Harvest, because my dad is Bruce Lee. Yay. Yay! Thank you so much for jumping on this channel. Oh my God, it's, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm like, come on, you gotta do some Lego stuff with me. You don't know what's happening out there. There's so much <laughs> cool stuff going on. It's amazing, like all of these sets, I'm blown away. It's super cool, I can't wait. I'm not, I'm just gonna warn you, I'm like not an expert Lego builder. Just like me. <laughs> I'm not but, an expert at all. But uh, I'm excited to get building. Yeah, I'm like, Shannon, get away from work for a little bit. Come on down, let's do something fun. Yep. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a small little set. Yep. Maybe do a little bit of chit chat for you guys. And then we're gonna do a set review, which I'm gonna review she had not seen yet. And we were talking about the show and we thought it'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. But first of all, we'll pull out this little set and we'll get ready to build this thing. Yay! So this is a brick head. I actually haven't done much brick heads. Guys, is this popular? I have no idea if this is like super, super popular. But this was a gift from Lego Hong Kong, so we're gonna build this right now. Yeah, for sure. Cool. And we chose Dragon Dance Guy because my father was a little dragon. Yeah. And we're in Hong Kong. Asian theme. <laughs> and speaking of. Just like us. <laughs> where are the Bruce Lee sets, man? Exactly. Shannon. I know. We need to rectify this problem. We need some Bruce Lee Lego. We need like to enter the dragon, the, the, the mirror room, <laughs> the arena, Ooh, like set too. pieces. And first of all, there's the website, brucelee.com. Brucelee.com, right? yeah. Yeah, where you can get these cool shirts. Yeah, thank you for these shirts. These cool shirts. Yeah, go get yours. <laughs> Today. So also on brucelee.com, there is a type of figure, mini figure character of Bruce Lee. It's from a company called Oyo, which is a US brand, OYO, right? OYO. They actually specialize in sports stuff. Mm. That I do know. Okay. But that's available on brucelee.com. Maybe yep. I should order one and review it for hey. you guys. I should have you brought know. you one. <laughs> I know, right? But anyway, go check out brucelee.com. So we're gonna open this up. There we go. All right. Okay. How do you know which bag to start with? Okay. Well, it's so small, these bags are not numbered. But if it's a bigger set, they oh. do number the bag. Okay. So first of all, when was the last time you actually built a Lego? Okay, so I have a daughter. She's 16. Probably the last time I built a Lego was about seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what set it was? Oh my gosh, do I remember what set? It was definitely bigger pieces than this. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. She was into Lego for a little while. Okay. Yeah. And what about you? Is there like a theme that you're into that you'd want to see from Lego or that maybe you don't even know that exists and I can tell you it exists? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I definitely love seeing the Lego sculptures Okay. Um, that they do like at the you know, they'll do it like Comic Con or they'll do it like the licensing show. Oh, no, okay. You know, like the big. The thousands and the thousands, thousands of pieces. Of pieces. Which I want to get into one day. Yeah, that That'll would be, be fun, fun to build. Right? Um, maybe you get a life size Bruce Lee Lego. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try one. Or you know what? You guys, if you guys out there have any like Bruce Lee stuff or mocks, they call them mocks, which stands for my own creation. Oh, okay. And you know, let us know, throw it in the comments, let oh us see God. some stuff I and I'll let Shannon see it, get it approved and make a set, yeah. Yeah, I would love to see that, that's awesome. I'm kind of interested because these pieces are small. So yeah. like see, build something a little bit more intricate, even though I know this is like an easy piece. Yeah, or else I'll be keeping Shannon here all day. All day. Okay, I'll pass you the pieces. You're gonna pass me the pieces? Okay. There we go. All right, okay. For this well, dragon dude. This one, I got the first two, so. There you go, smart, <laughs> smart. So what would you like to see if there really was a Bruce Lee Lego set? 
you see your dad as a character or a scene from a film? You know, so I do think obviously the scenes from films are cool, but also like I really like it when there's some different stuff, like when they do cool lifestyle stuff or like different than everything you see all the time, right. you know, maybe He's at home or he's chilling in his sunglasses or he's, you know what I mean? Like, or like a DJ shirt. Oh yeah, the DJ, the DJ shirt. DJ turntable with him, that'd be pretty cool. Faster, faster, faster. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. And then we're on this I one need, now, right? Oh, I need the red, the red Oh, the red ones. little guy is this one. Guys. See, I don't even know, there's technical names for these pieces and I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are either. This looks like a shovel, so. Shovel, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So in case you guys are new and you're wondering why faster, I'm even faster, doing this faster. channel, yeah. it's just because for me, this is like meditation or medication. So <laughs> I want Shannon really to do this so she can feel it zen and feel at home. Totally, no, I'm into it. And yeah, one thing I should mention that when we were young, I used to hang out with Brandon. Yeah, That was a lot brother. of fun. They should do a crow. A crow Lego. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be pretty be cool, cool, right? So here's a piece of philosophy. It's never a shame to make mistakes as long as you learn from them. There you go. <laughs> what we're doing right now. Are you still now? on that page? Okay, never mind. Take your time. I screw so, up all the time doing these things. So we're learning right now. <laughs> Imagine doing a big set and be like, oh, oh when you get to like a certain part of the set and you've got to go back and be like, oh no, I screwed that up. Not too this, bad. Nice and small. Yeah, doing good. Look. Boom. All right. Now what? Going pretty quick. Five of these. See? I'm not so bad. So <laughs> projects. What's some new projects you're working on? New projects I'm working on. So I have a bunch of film and TV projects I'm working on. Cool. We just had our TV show Warrior. Yeah. Yeah, that came out. But it's only on Cinemax. Cinemax. It's on HBO Asia. So it's on Cinemax and HBO Asia. And it is season one. And we have season two that'll be coming out next year. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's oh, nice. based on a story my dad wrote. So my dad is not in it as a character. Okay. Uh, but it's based on a story that he wrote. Um, okay, so we'll do this first and stick it in the middle. And it's funny because I know a couple guys on the show. Oh, yeah. You know Jason who plays... He yeah. plays a character called Young June and he's amazing. And I so enjoyed getting to know him. Cool. Yeah. Jason, I gotta get you on here. Yes, Jason, you have to come. Yeah. <laughs> we can build Legos together. Maybe they'll make a warrior Lego. How awesome would that be? <laughs> that would be cool. Takes me a minute. I'm a little slow. No problem. Take your time. Boom. There we go. Okay, that's easy enough. Easy what one. are we building right now? His body? This is his oh, body. Yeah, it's like a typical brickhead style. This is how they get form first, and then they get into the arms and the legs and the head. And they have a lot. There's a lot. There's like Star Wars. There's... There's tons. Reindeers and ducks and <laughs> that's pretty cool. No, these are so cool. I would love to see um, some Brucey ones. I think that would be really cool. Oh, look, you're making a face now. Oh, yeah. Oh, they have the, the Marvel, Iron Man and all that kind of stuff. Yes. And I have, if you have, if people have watched this channel, you have known that I don't have any Marvel sets here because I'm just worried I'll get addicted to it. <laughs> I don't want to get addicted. There would be so many to build. A lot. <laughs> that would be awesome. We're just doing one side? Yeah, I think they're going to have you do one side. Don't okay. forget to breathe. Yeah, right? Calm. Oh, that's not where that goes. They, have, they actually have a separator. Have you ever seen a brick separator? No, but I could use I, one. I should, I should yeah, show I you it. one. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, like a pair of nunchucks and Lego, but... Ooh, it's a weapon, Lego right? nunchucks? Yeah. That would be so this cool. This is a Lego separator, so you can use this to like pop off pieces. Oh, okay. Or like grab on and pull it off, but just so you know. Oh, good. Okay. You want a piece I off of that. me? Yeah, we're okay. good. Okay. All right, what were you going to ask me? Growing up with your dad. Growing cool. up with my dad. Yeah. He passed away when I was four, which is very young. Young, right? You know, so I don't have a ton of memories of him. I do have some. My memories actually start in Hong Kong, which is I think why Hong Kong always feels like such a home. special place to right. me. Really feels like home and cause you guys are here. Which right. You guys are like my family. So, all right, hold on. I gotta look for one second. Okay. I think this is right. <laughs> Take your time. It's um, hard to talk and build at the same time. I know, huh? I'm like, I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> 
but I'm excited to build. So I remember like going to visit him on the set of his movies, okay. Golden Harvest, in particular when he was shooting Game of Death. Actually, I had one particular visit literally like burned into my memory because I I went to visit him. There. Yay. Cool. I went to visit him and we had our Mercedes oh, okay. our car. And when I got there, I uh, we parked and we got out of the car and I leaned up against the exhaust pipe. Oh, <laughs> my leg. I actually did that once. I think I think I still have a scar on my leg from my car. I feel like one of those fat exhausts. That was back in the day when the exhaust pipes would get really hot and stick out, uh, stick sucks. out too far from the car. <laughs> well, at least you remember it. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah, you are doing a good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're running the website and you're, you're doing all the stuff for your dad. Is there something that you've come across that that inspires you now, or that 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 well, he has carried off that you like really yeah. respect that he's done that? Or yeah, well, I'll tell you the reason why I got into doing stuff for my dad's legacy is because actually the the thing that really speaks to me is his philosophy. Okay. And like, you know, it's really helped me a lot in my life when I've been going through challenging things. And I actually, I have a podcast that I do okay. called the Bruce Lee Podcast. Yeah, I put all the links <laughs> in the stuff in the description. Go follow it all. Where we talk about his philosophy and how to use it in your life. Oh, cool. And I should follow it too. Yeah, it's really, it's really great. And it's really helped me a lot. And actually it's helped a lot of people too. Like people write in and tell me all the time how much the philosophy has helped them. It's like, it's my dad's philosophy, even though he did it a lot around martial arts, um, it was also just how to live your life. To, right. You know, how to like be the best version of yourself and how to overcome obstacles and that kind of stuff. So it's helpful for everyone. It doesn't have to be just like if you're a martial artist. Right. Yeah. And so it's been really helpful for me in my life. And I felt like everybody knows the Bruce Lee that's like, you know, Kung Fu and Dragon right. and, you know, all the movies and everything. But they didn't necessarily know that side of him. And so I wanted to, um, tell people about about the full man, right? And not just the martial arts guy that everybody knows. That's why I do what I do. I feel like that's the foundation that made him as popular as he was. Okay. That made him as amazing to watch. Like when you watch him, you see his energy like jump off the screen right. and it's cause he did all this work and he had a way that he lived his life that he really believed in and he worked really, 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 really hard. Now you have all these young kids like Tyler, he has no idea. Yeah, right. So how yeah. would you introduce him to the new young <laughs> generation that's coming up now, you know? Yeah, through Legos. Yeah, Legos, <laughs> come on, man. So I can teach Tyler, this is Uncle Bruce. Yeah, so actually, okay, hold on. How do I, oh, I see, it's sticking out the side a little bit, right? Oh, I see. There's two of them. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, sometimes it takes me a minute. <laughs> Trust me, the worst part too is that sometimes the color is not exactly the same. Uh, Lego is actually pretty good with the instructions, like pretty yeah. spot on, but sometimes like gold will look like a yellow or like right. a blue looks like a green. Right. And if you're in a real dimly lit place, like black looks like brown. Right. Oh, that's oh, cool. We made his tail. Yeah. So I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I'm here in Hong Kong is because there's an awesome exhibit at the Hong Kong Heritage Museum here. Yeah, that's right. And you know yeah. what? I actually helped you shoot the opening of that like five years ago. He did. And like a couple of my other videos, I never put up the video. What's funny enough is that my old YouTube channel, I'll put a link to as well. There's a, you know, the oh, footage, we, I went with you to your dad's hometown, right? Remember yeah, that? with the big statue. Yeah, yeah with the big China, statue. And in China. It was yeah. just a fun little video that I put up. And I put the clip of this guy that was imitating your dad. Oh, right. And the comments were wild. And it went, it kind of went viral, you know? <laughs> it's got like X amount of views. Anyway, that was really funny. But I promise I'll get you that museum footage. Maybe <laughs> five more years. They're going to revamp the exhibit. And so I was here meeting with them and talking to them about what we're going to do. Because next year, 2020, is the 80th birthday celebration of my dad. Oh, uh, okay. Isn't that crazy? We uh, are gonna do more at the museum 
and uh, loan some different things and refresh the exhibit. It's a really great exhibit if you haven't been. You so if you're in Hong Kong. Go to Hong Kong. If you live in Hong Kong, you should definitely go. And we're gonna put some new objects in. Okay. We loaned about 500 objects almost. Wow. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. And um, so that'll be really great. It's one of the reasons why I'm here. And that would be one way for kids to get to know no. Bruce Lee. But what and about like in, the, like in the States or in Europe? Is there places that they, people can go to to visit? That's well, so we have some, so yeah, there are some. There's the Wing Luke Museum in Seattle has okay. a Bruce Lee exhibit also. There's a Bruce Lee statue in Los Angeles. Okay. The first one in the United States. We do summer camps. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of you guys, if I'm not mistaken, are like in Germany, Australia, and UK as well. Oh. So maybe I don't know about this camp of yours. Well, that's the thing. And so actually I've been talking to the Hong Kong Heritage Museum okay. about bringing the camp to Hong Kong. Cause right now we only do it in the States. We okay. just started it last year. So it's pretty small right okay. now. So I built the, hold on, hold on. I built these pieces, but Am I supposed to put oh, no, it no, somewhere? Oh, no, that's, that's what you're going to build. That's, that's next, next page. That's okay, next. Okay. Going too far ahead. Okay, sorry. Skipping ahead. Come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking to the Hong Kong Heritage Museum about bringing the camps here to Hong Kong. Oh, cool. To do in the museum. So I think that that would be really um, also a great way for kids to get to know Bruce Lee. Um, in the camps, we do martial arts. I was going to ask, do, what do you do? Yeah, and we do these things we call activities, we call philosophy in action. So it's like we talk about each day has a different philosophical theme okay. that of my father's, like positive thinking or um, uh, how, walk on, like right. how to come over, overcome defeat and tough times and stuff like that. So the kids do that and they do these activities. They play games, they do arts and crafts. Uh, we've done like a tea ceremony cool. um, with the kids and then they also do martial arts. So it's a very like mind, body, spirit sort oh, of. Nice. So you bring special guests to the camp, like mm -hmm. counselors or yeah, martial so we, artists? Yep. So we have special guests. So when special guests come, we've had dance instructors come. Oh, cool. Because, you know, I don't know if you guys knew this, but my dad was the cha-cha champion of Hong Kong in 1958. <laughs> I only remember that from the Jason Scott Lee movie. <laughs> yeah. Dragon. So my dad was a pretty amazing dancer also. So we do dance. We do like Be Like Water Day. And there's like water games and right. teamwork games and how to flow around. Well, your dad and dance the outfit for dancing would be a cool set too. Everybody always says my dad would win uh, Dancing with the Stars if he was still alive. Oh, I see what's happening here. Ooh. Ooh. Something scary coming up. Ooh. Okay, wait, hold on. So that, that goes, oops, that goes like this. It's almost complete looking. We're, we're getting, we're getting there. I love the little horns. They're so cool. So it's actually pretty cool that a lot of Lego sets have like so many new pieces that you're probably seeing for the first time, like little things here and there. Yeah. No, these are cool. I love all the little extra yeah. pieces. The way they do the horns and the this little. What is that? Which dash? It's like a outfit. It's a part of his outfit. Yeah. Okay, so now are we hooking this onto here? Sure. Ooh. Almost looks like a cow's head. Yeah. For now. <laughs> yeah, right. It does. Okay. okay. On to the next bit. He's looking pretty cool though. Put this here. A faster, no? Put. Yes. So um, the museum is interested in bringing the camp here to Hong Kong. Cool. And so if anybody has organizations, it works best. Like we have the whole curriculum and the program. And then if there's a place where they already do children's programs, okay, like a have... school or a museum or something, then we can right. just bring it there. And, well, that's cool. Yeah. And teach the kids all about his philosophy and stuff, which is cool. You guys do anything else besides or ever thought about like other than a camp or more like workshop type of stuff. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. actually. So, so one of the questions we get the most in social media is, do you do this for adults? Oh, okay. <laughs> camp for adults. Yeah. This camp one for time, sleep for camp? Adults. So actually, um, we are working on some programs for adults. 
Adult camp. Adult yeah. camp. Bruce Lee camp. And you have one one workshop where I can help you come in and we build some Legos together yeah. with all the adult guy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be, that you could be meditative. Right. Cause the thing, oh, that's what I was going to say. So my dad meditated, right? But sometimes he would do moving meditation where he would uh, meditate while he was jogging. Just like building Legos. It's like your body gets into a rhythm yeah, I just started working out and I'm like running and jogging. I'm like, there's no way I can meditate while running. I'm just like dying on the inside. <laughs> Ooh. Whips. Oh. Oh, they're like the dragon's antenna. So your dad meditates. Yeah, while he was running. running. Yeah, so like moving meditation. Crazy. Off to the Doesn't side. have to be perfect. But I do have a lot of guys that watch my channel. But I have OCD and they're like, dude, you put in the pieces like not right at all. Kind of at an angle. There. Okay. That was my OCD moment. I'm not very OCD <laughs> as a person, <laughs> but sometimes I like it to be just right. Okay, now, dun, da, da. Oh, okay, this goes. Slot in. Da, da. Cool. Wow. Okay, we're doing we're doing good here. Oh, I think he's, he's done. We're, the figure like is done. The figure is pretty much done. Now we just have to build like his little area. His home. His little hangout home. Yeah. This guy. Okay. Everybody needs a space of their own. So you got camp. You have yep. the warrior TV show. Yep. Um, future. What about like justice for your dad, but like a feature <laughs> film? Oh yes, we do have some feature film projects. Also, we oh, do. Okay. Yes. Because I, you know you have like Bohemian Rhapsody. You have like all these like biographies, and actually pretty good. Yeah. And the technology now and everything, I think it'd be like pretty cool to see something that yeah, is for your dad, you know? Yeah, for sure. No, we have a lot of projects in the works from feature film to more TV to documentary projects. It's actually pretty exciting. Okay. What about video games? You know, video you know games, I'm a yeah. huge gamer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's actually a character in one of the games, like one of the fighting games, right? So there's Tekken, a Bruce right? Lee character in the EA UFC game. Oh, the yeah, UFC game, that's right. And there's a Bruce Lee character in Temple Run. Okay. And there's a Bruce Lee game too. Right, actually. the mobile game, right? The mobile game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, I need these two guys here, I think. Is this right? It feels like it's, well. You're gonna find out. <laughs> it's gonna find out, yeah. I'm not sure where these, oh, these go. Okay. Getting there. Two sticks. Two sticks. One flat thing. Uh, I need that, those guys. Yeah, those and this one. Okay. So we have a lot of projects in the work. I, okay. I can't really announce they are just yet, but maybe I'll come back and build more Legos and announce, yeah. and announce them. We got to make sure there's a Bruce Lee <laughs> set out there so I can get Shannon back on here. <laughs> And you guys gotta like this video and comment and share it and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> so yes. we get more guests on too. That'd yeah, be fun. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like that, right? Yep. Good. And yes. Then the lanterns. Uh, that's at the bottom. So I need. It's repeating, yeah. Yeah, but it has a another little thing on top, right? Oh no, that's just attaching to the thing. Okay, sorry. No Getting problem. confused. Hold on. There we go. Cool. Okay. And then. And then, and then. That's it. That's it. What Stand them on there. These are extra spare pieces. Oh. Extra eye if you lose it. Extra, it's like a microphone piece. Hold on. Yay. Ta-da. Cool, look at that. Dum, da -da -dum. That is the I'll Legos brick out. heads. Dragon dance guy. He's so cute. What do you, you know, think of him? My dad used to do dragon dance in Chinatown when he was 18 or so. Was he the head or the tail? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna guess he was the head, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. There it is. That's Yay. pretty cool. I think he looks really cool, actually. I love all the like little extra parts. Yeah, like the, the dragon head. The dragon head is looks really, really cool. cool. The antennae are really so, cool. Like I said, these are brick heads, so they're all characters. Mm -hmm. So I can buy specific ones. Yeah, the tail is can cool. adjust it there. That goes up and down. So there you go. This is the dragon guy. You did it. Your first, is this your first brick head? I'm knocking everything down. <laughs> this is my first brick head for sure. All right, you guys. So that's brick head dragon dance guy. 
Thank you so much, Shannon, for having a little nice chit chat and building that. That was super for everyone. fun, by the way. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much for jumping in on the channel. And exactly. hope to have you back again soon. I will be back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So until next time, break us out. Push. All right, you guys. So that's Brickhead's Dragon Hit, Dragon Dance Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> There's other company brands that do brew stuff, but yeah, you'll destroy that stuff if I have it here. So we won't do that stuff. <laughs> Type of figure, mini figure character of Bruce Lee. Yeah. That is not from Lego. Damn it. No, I'm just kidding. I like the tail. Oops. Oh, broke that part off. <laughs> broke your set. Sorry. And for brickheads from other brands, there is actually a Bruce character, which I don't know the the, the legitimacy of how that works. <laughs> I like to call these dangling things little nut sacks because they look like nut sacks to me. But I don't know what they use it for. Like, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One more left. The desk is not wrong. This wow. is the Stranger Things house. Come on out. This is a shake test. There we go. Awesome that it like actually flips upside down. Yeah, it's kind of scary at first. You're like, oh, they're <laughs> really gonna fall apart on here. I thought you were a fan of the show. You would know. <laughs> <laughs>